What's up everybody? I hope you are enjoying your day. We're talking about assets and specifically real estate. So if you are a family and you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we are here to save you money on what you're going to pay for college. So if you haven't already subscribed now and or hit the notification button so when we do make a video, you're one of the first to receive it. And you, who knows, one video can save you a couple thousand dollars on what you're going to pay for college. What you don't know can definitely cost you. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. When it comes to assets, okay, uh, and more specifically, once again, real estate, you want to minimize your equity within a particular property. So if you have a property you owe about 100 grand on and that property is valued at 500,000, uh, that $400,000 is counting against you when it comes to, your, comes to your aid eligibility. Now, given the current situation where we're in a phenomenal interest rate environment um, when it comes to mortgages, this is a great time to start reconsidering your loan and or your mortgage. Now, if you have other um, you know, outstanding debts out there or you have a major purchase coming up, maybe a family vacation or a business investment, this is a good time to consider using that equity to pay for some of those things that you know you have in mind because the equity that you have in your property once again is counting against you so a good strategy is having a loan against that property to decrease the amount that you actually have in equity which raises your aid eligibility increases your chances of receiving favorable financial aid to help make college more affordable you have a student that's nearing college or in college and they go to a school that only uses the FAFSA your primary residence doesn't really matter okay it doesn't it doesn't carry much weight as far as an asset that's being calculated against you now investment properties they totally do if you're only using the FAFSA now if you're at a school where they're using the CSS profile uh, maybe a highly selective private school then your primary residence can actually pay a, play a factor when it comes to your ability to receive more favorable financial aid. So depending on the school that your, your student is going to or considering, you wanna position yourself in the you know, best way possible as it pertains to your primary residence and or your investment properties. So the second strategy as it pertains to your real estate is more of an income you know, strategy or a cash flow strategy. You may wanna consider still reevaluating your loan because we're in a great interest rate environment this is the opportunity you know for you to actually refinance for a lower mortgage payment that could save you anywhere between 200 to maybe 500 dollars a month or even more on what you're paying so families that i talk to are always looking for a grant or a scholarship or opportunity to save on what they're going to pay for college well consider this kind of like a mortgage scholarship if your student is a junior in college or a junior in high school, you can definitely employ the strategy and it makes your life a lot better because you have more money in your pocket to help you pay for school. $500 a month, when it comes to what you're saving on your mortgage, is $6,000 a year. $6,000 a year is about $24,000 over four years. Now, that's a lot of money that you can use to pay for books, transportation, room and board, tuition, whatever it might be. So whether you're looking to pull money out and pay off certain expenses and having um, a debt or a loan against your property to increase your aid eligibility, or your family looking to just lower your payment to increase your cash flow, this is a great opportunity for you to reconsider and reevaluate your current rate so you can be in a better position to make college more affordable. Now, if anything that I said in this video was a little confusing or complicated, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, you can reach us at info at a grade above cp.com. Once again, my name is Josh Smith. What you don't know can definitely cost you. Subscribe to our channel and be on the lookout for more videos and more information to come. We'll talk to you all soon. Make it a great day.